In the last video, I admitted to the entire internet that I'm not very good at picking individual stocks that, that are winners. Uh, so the question is, how can I be involved in the stock market if I don't have that uh, that skill. And the answer is that what I do is I pay other people to make good decisions for me, or at least what the best decisions they can make. Uh, once again, let's make this local instead of being a multinational corporation. Let's say that we've got a friend named Susan, and Susan uh, buys and trades stocks. She does the research. Um, she doesn't win all the time, but she wins more than she loses. Uh, and we we talk to her and we say, what's your secret? And she says, eh, this is a lot of hard work, but I enjoy doing it. And uh, we say, well, if I gave you money, could you invest it in the stock market for me? And she says, well, I don't know. I mean, that would be a lot of work for me to do. Um, you'd have to pay me for it. And I say, okay, can I share, you know, if there are profits, I'll split it with you. And she says, no, no, I want to make money either way. I, I think you should pay me for the work that I'm doing, whether it works or not. And so she actually decides to spin this off to a bunch of her friends. And she said, if you give me money, um, I will invest it in the stock market to the best of my ability. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna treat it as one huge pot of money, your money, my money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the best decisions I know how. I'm gonna treat it like it's my money because a big part of it is, but you've got to pay 1% of the money you've got invested in the fund in order for me to manage it for you. And that's something you're going to have to pay whether I make money for you in a year or lose money. And you can put money in and take it out whenever you want. And so we do that. And once again, we've got money in the stock market. So that's where we want it because that's a great long-term investing uh, plan. And Susan is at least tolerably good at picking stocks. And we can keep track of her results. She, let's say that she sends us reports every month telling us about what she bought and sold and how the value of the money that you have given her has risen or fallen over the course of that month. So you can keep track of it. And at any time, if you think that she's not worth the fee that you're paying for her to manage your money, you can pull the money out of it and do something else with the money. Or if you want to use the money to make the down payment on your car or something like that, that's what money is for, is for you to use when you need it. That's the idea of a mutual fund, that instead of putting money into stock itself, you're putting the money towards somebody who is picking stocks for you. There are a gazillion uh, mutual funds out there in the world, and they can be very specific. Um, you might have a mutual fund that only invests in airline stocks. Um, so it's somebody who's just pointed with laser focus on what's going on in the airline industry. And this person knows this airline is going to be more profitable this year, and this airline is going to be less profitable. So they're going to sell their airline and buy this one. And if you are invested in that mutual fund, you're taking advantage of that person's expertise and you're getting the returns that that person is getting. On the other hand, you have to pay money for that. So that's kind of the advantage and disadvantage of a mutual fund. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about the pluses and minuses of mutual funds. Uh, they used to be super popular things. In the last 10 years or so, they've started to take a bad rap, and there's a replacement that's, that's a lot more effective than mutual funds. We'll find out what it is.